Welcome to Hahas and Homicides. Your crypt cousin Corey here. All right, folks, gather round and buckle up because today's tale is going to make your hair stand on end faster than you can say boo. But hey, before we dive into this real life horror show, let me make one thing crystal clear. We ain't glorifying real crime here at Hahas and Homicides. We respect all victims and their families of real life tragedies, and our humor never targets them. Now that we've got that straight, let's jump right into the twisted tale of the Scissor Sisters, Linda and Charlotte Mulhall, straight out of Dublin. Now picture this, it's March 20th, 2005, St. Patrick's weekend in good old Dublin. Linda, Charlotte, their mom Kathleen, and their mom's boyfriend Farah Swalinor are out on the town, drinking like there's no tomorrow. They're having a grand old time, knocking back pints and popping pills like they're candy. But little do they know, this night's gonna take a dark and deadly turn faster than you can say, luck of the Irish. As the night wears on, tensions start to simmer beneath the surface, fueled by booze and ecstasy. Linda and Noor find themselves cozied up on the couch, but things take a sinister twist when Noor starts getting a bit too handsy. Kathleen, not one to mince words, starts screaming bloody murder, quite literally, and before you know it, the room is a powder keg, ready to blow. That's when Charlotte, with a Stanley knife in hand, decides she's had enough of Noor's unwanted advances. With one swift stroke, she slices across his throat, sending him crashing to the ground like a sack of potatoes. But wait, the horror doesn't stop there, folks. Linda, not one to be outdone, grabs a hammer and starts raining down blows on Noor's skull like she's playing whack-a-mole at the county fair. Talk about a family feud gone wrong. Now, you'd think that'd be the end of it, right? Wrong. The Mulhall sisters ain't done yet. Oh, no. They drag Noor's lifeless body into the bathroom, where they proceed to hack him into pieces like they're preparing a Sunday roast. Limbs flying, blood splattering, it's a scene straight out of your worst nightmare. And just when you think it can't get any worse, they start disposing of the evidence like it's yesterday's rubbish. Bags of body parts, a headless corpse, and a missing penis, yep, you heard that right, all tossed into the Royal Canal like it's no big deal. But guess what, folks? Lady Luck ain't on their side, cause 10 days later, old Farah's leg, still sporting a sock, floats to the surface like a twisted game of hide and seek gone wrong. Now, you might be wondering, how'd they get caught? Well, turns out, you can't hide a crime like this forever. DNA evidence, bloodstains, and a whole lot of suspicious behavior lead the cops straight to the Mulhall doorstep. And when Linda finally cracks under pressure and spills the beans, well, let's just say the jig is up. But here's the kicker, folks. Justice ain't always black and white. Linda gets off with manslaughter, thanks to a little thing called provocation, while Charlotte gets slapped with a life sentence for murder. Talk about a twisted turn of events. So there you have it, folks. The bone-chilling tale of the Scissor Sisters, a family feud that ended in bloodshed and betrayal. And remember, as we bid adieu to this macabre tale, let's keep in mind the real victims and their families, because in the end, there ain't no punchline to a tragedy like this. If you're hungry for more dark and twisted tales, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out another video on our channel. Until next time, this is Crypt Cousin Corey signing off.